What is up, everybody? ZWZTV, Zunukas, Man, Double Z's Man, whatever. Welcome to yet the next episode of Eagle Eye Mysteries. Today, we're looking at the case of the ghastly ghost. Let's see what we've got. That sounds weird. We gotta solve a mystery about a ghost. Let's see. Hey guys, if you heard, Nicole Hamble says she saw a ghost last night in the Egyptian theater. That it was green, glowing, and looked like a woman named Niagara Tumble, who died many years ago. Oh boy. Good movie snipe now, no way. Too creepy. You think there was really a ghost down there, the Egyptian? No, if I believe in ghosts, but I bet we can figure out what's happening at the Egyptian. Let's see if we can find it out. Yep, yeah, let's go see. Whoa, we got seven places to look. Let's hope I don't have to look through every place for all the clues. We'll have to see. Alright, Mr. Star. Whenever you want to help out working our tick ticket booth in the afternoon. Hmm. Is it Nicole and Hamble here? She thought she worked afternoons at the theater. Supposed to, but last night she thought she saw a ghost here. Too scared to come to work. Hmm. Can we see where we saw where she saw the ghost? Maybe we can solve it. Sure, go in the theater and have a look for yourself. Looked around in there, but I haven't touched anything since you left. Couldn't find anything. Hmm. Let's see. Theater is empty. There's no sign of anything out of place or unusual. Place is very clean and neat. Yeah. Goldsmiths left no evidence. Broom and dustpan hung neatly in the corner. Closet. Sorry. Movies. Yep. Now showing and all that stuff. Uh, there's no point in really caring about what movies are playing when, because that's not helping with the mystery. Now, Nicola, I'm guessing you have another clue here at the Richview Mall. There she is. You know, she kind of looks weird. Hi there, I'm just picking up a few extra supplies for the girls' softball team. We have an exhibition game today at Mount Vernon High. What are you two doing? Just hanging out. We heard you saw a ghost. Yes, I did. The little lady who died there, Niagara Tumble. She was glowing green and floating in the air. I turned and ran out of there. Tell us exactly what happened. Sure, but I'll have to be quick. I'm supposed to pick up some of the girls at the Taylor Park in a few minutes. Last night, I had just started to clean the theater with the broom and dustpan when I heard this moan. I looked up, and there she was. I got scared, dropped the broom, and ran home. In the morning, I called Mr. Starr told him I couldn't come in today. And now, if you'll excuse me, I need to finish getting these supplies. Wait a minute. She said she dropped the broom and dustpan and everything and ran away in fear, yet we just looked in the theater and it looked all clean. Something doesn't add up. Let's look at the Historical Society. Maybe we can figure out a little bit about this one. Alright, Mrs. Arnold, we were wondering if you could tell us anything about the ghost of Niagara Tumble. Oh, that's a story that was made up back when I was a little girl. Well, that must have been a long time ago. <laughs> Egyptian theater was new then, you know. Somebody spread the rumor it was haunted. At various times, people have claimed to see her flying through the air, or falling from the balcony, or sometimes she just sits in the seat on the back and sobs, like she was watching a sad, sad movie. I don't believe in ghosts, but then I've never, ever, never seen her either. If I did, then maybe I'd believe. She's a nice lady. Let's see, an old newspaper has a story about the Egyptian theater. In 1925, wow. While watching a scary movie, a woman named Niagara Tumble fainted in the balcony. The movie had to be stopped while she was carried downstairs and revived. A later article reveals that the whole incident was staged. Niagara Tumble was an actress. She pretended, pretended to faint in front of everybody to attract free publicity for the Egyptian theater's scary movie. Well, at least we know that the person's real. So that helps with something. Let's see the laboratory. Yes, I know, I said laboratory, just like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. I don't care. Let's see what Professor Crank says. There we go. Hello, kids. Can any of you cats... Uh, do you see any cats as you came in? No, Professor, not one. Why? Well, that means my supersonic cat attractor doesn't work. Yet. Maybe with a few more modifications. Maybe you could sell it as a cat repeller, Professor. Not a bad idea, Jake. 
Actually, it seems to repel just about everything. Now, what did you two come to see me about? Nicola Hamble says she saw a ghost in the Egyptian theater last night. Here she said it was green and glowing and looked like Niagara Tumble. It's a mystery we would like to solve. I don't believe in ghosts. I think either somebody's trying to fool Nicola Hamble or she's trying to fool someone else. Chuck's the sort of guy who might try to play a prank on Nicola. She was, he was here last night helping me with the cat attractor. Oh, looks like we got some money to search for. Uh, let's check the hotel. Swank's Hotel. Maybe we'll find him there. And he's the bellhop. Let's see. Maybe he was at the theater recently. We'll see. As it brings you around here. Wondering if you were here at the Egyptian theater last night. Nicole Hamble saw a ghost there. Ghost? Darn, I missed it. It's hanging out with Professor Cranks. No, I didn't go to the theater last night. I don't even have enough money to go out, go every night, even though I'd like to. Oh, you must have been paid a lot of money then. Why do you like movies so much, Chuck? Actually, I don't like the movies nearly as much as I like Nicola Hamble. Do anything to get her to notice me. Ooh. Well, it looks like somebody's in love. Uh, let's see. Library. Maybe they also got more about ghosts and everything. Let's see what we got. Talking to Mrs. Garcia. Hello, you two. Fun subject. Are you researching today? Ghosts, Mrs. Garcia. We're looking for information about spirits and hauntings. Well, never seen any ghosts myself, but that doesn't prove doesn't prove they don't exist. Have fun. All right. All through the ages, people have reported seeing ghosts. Many people believe that when someone dies, sometimes their spirit magically stays on Earth. There is no scientific proof one way or the other. Hmm. People call things magic. I don't understand. I wonder if that's true. Well, now there's only one place to look. And I think I've pretty much figured this whole mystery out. Alright, let's see. Alright, got a softball game today? Yeah, in about an hour. We're playing the Senior Sox over at Mount Vernon. Big benefit game. Nicole is supposed to pick us up here so we can meet the rest of the team at Mount Vernon High School. At first, Nicola said she couldn't coach us today because the game is later than usual. She said she had to work. What? Yesterday, she said she'd figure a way out, way to be here. Cares a lot about the team. She said she saw a ghost. No, hope you didn't mess with her coaching. We need her best coaching if she's gonna beat the senior socks. So she said she was gonna find a way to be there, eh? Well, let's see. Said she saw a ghost. No sign that anything was out of the ordinary. Yep, final way through. So he started to clean. Didn't say about the ghost till the morning. There you go, hauntingly clear. Nicola, you did it just to get out of going to work so you could do the softball game. And there we are. Examine the story. Yep. Ghost. Star. Yeah, pretty much pieced together. Oh, that's why. See, does it even say what happened or... This was a lie. One an excuse to avoid work for an afternoon. She coach. Yeah, she just wanted to join the game. Nicola, you could have just called in sick or something. That's the best way. But that would end this episode, folks. Hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you got in the comment section below. And I shall see you all in the next episode as we continue solving these mysteries. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, folks.